We are absolutely just drowning in boxes. And we just got back from picking up our grocery order. So good news is I've been figuring things out as I go. I found this recipe on Pinterest. It's not like I don't like it here. It's just, I feel so unsettled. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the dreaded day. <laughs> Not really dreaded like i feel like i'm finally at the point where i just want to like tackle it but i've been procrastinating unpacking all of our boxes and so we're gonna finally just like rip them open today um really i want to just focus i think i'm gonna start downstairs and work my way up that's kind of my game plan because upstairs the furniture's already been set up by the movers um and then we've been putting clothes away like as we wash them because Chase did hook up our washer and dryer, so we've been able to do laundry and kind of catch up on that. Um, so really the only thing that just like desperately needs work is our kitchen and like the living room, living space, like just like the downstairs living spaces. Like we call it a library, um, but just like our like office, like bookshelf area of the living room. Um, and then the dining room and the kitchen like have not been touched at all and we are absolutely just drowning in boxes literally can barely walk around here because we're just like tripping over boxes kicking boxes um the poor dogs are like walking through a maze every day and we just really need to like i'm ready to start using my kitchen that kind of thing um we've just really just been like figuring it out as we go but it's time to like start unpacking so yeah, my main goal today is definitely the kitchen. Like, that's, like, number one priority. Um, and then maybe start on, like, the dining room. I would like to start setting up the living room as well, but that's, like, third on the list because, I mean, it's really just, like, the books need to be put on the bookshelf. My cabinet here in the corner I would like to do, but Chase needs to get something to anchor it. Um, so, yeah, we're really just going to see how much we can get done, but, like, the kitchen absolutely at least needs to be done by today um so yeah it's gonna be interesting kind of seeing where everything is gonna go because we're limited on cabinet space when we first walked in the house i was like oh wow there's actually like a decent amount of cabinets but then i realized we don't have a pantry and then once you kind of subtract what will be used to store food you're like mm, there really isn't a whole lot so it'll be interesting seeing where i'm gonna put everything but we'll figure it out yesterday i did go to the grocery store and I did film a vlog for you, or a little grocery haul for you guys, because I figured you might want to see that. Our first grocery haul in the new house, I figured I would like to look back on it too when we eventually move from this house. You guys know I'm sentimental and like I love that kind of thing. So I'll go ahead and insert that clip here. Okay, we just got back from picking up our grocery order from Kroger. It's my first time shopping from Kroger, so um, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I love like trying new grocery stores and just seeing like what they have and um, what sales they do. But if you guys didn't know, when you move to a new house and you forward your mail through USPS online, you get a ton of coupons. And so I always use them every single time we move. I'm always like really excited about it because it's usually like a grocery store, like home decor, furniture stores, things like that. And I had a $15 off from Kroger, and then I also have had like a five dollar off from the Kroger app so yeah saved twenty dollars this grocery haul so really excited all of this stuff came out to be about like a hundred and thirty dollars I think and it will last us about a week and a half so um yeah pretty cool it is definitely like a really big haul because obviously we have to stock up on like staples again but um yeah all of this will last us about a week and a half um I got stuff for lunches dinners and breakfast so um, we'll just kind of start over here. I needed butter. I like the sticks for cooking, but I like the tub for toast and things. So I always get um, both of them. And this is the best butter, you guys, the Kerrygold. It's literally so, so good. And the ingredients, I'm pretty sure, are like um, amazing. Where is it? You guys can't see it, but it's just salt and cream. <laughs> so, so good. But um, eggs, we really love these eggs. And then um, baby carrots. I These are like, I always buy baby carrots because Chase loves to snack on them. And he likes me to throw them in his lunches for work. Asparagus, because I'm going to do, we're going to grill asparagus for um, a side for a couple of our dinners this week. Red onion for cooking. Sweet potatoes for a side for dinners this week. Chase does sweet potatoes so good. He has a recipe for the air fryer and it's, oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. And then um, a bag of potatoes because I use these for, I mean, literally everything. Dinner sides, breakfast, all kinds of things. 
We love potatoes in this house. Um, rice cakes to snack on, pita chips to snack on. We have like a dill dip in the fridge and it's like one of our favorite snacks is to eat that with pita. And then some croutons for salads for like dinner sides as well as my lunches. I like salads for lunch. Some light brown sugar for recipes. Um, brown rice. These were on sale this week so I got two bags because Chase meal preps rice and like whatever protein he wants for lunches. And then I needed this for a meatball recipe that I've shared on my channel like a million times. Of course, Chase requested it again, so he's getting that this week. And then some taco seasoning for some crock pot chicken tacos I'm going to make. All of the recipes I'm doing this week are just going to be really easy because we're still unpacking and just like settling in. So I have some vodka sauce for tortellini. Um, ketchup because we're going to do a burger night one night. Chase is going to grill. Um, peanut butter. This is so good on rice cakes. Um, some salsa for the crock pot tacos. Um, it's a new recipe. I haven't tried it yet, so um, I'm interested to see how well it is. Some minced garlic. I use garlic. I don't know why my camera is like having a hard time focusing. It. There's a lot going on, but I use garlic in literally everything I cook. Um, this is the best Caesar dressing. I wish the ingredients were a little bit better. Like that's a long list but it's so good, it's so creamy, I love it. Um, some beef for burgers, one pack of chicken for the tacos, and then the other pack I'm going to prep for my salads for lunch. Tortillas for tacos, breakfast tacos, all sorts of things. The meatballs for Chase's recipe that he requested. Milk, we drink grass-fed milk. Um, some sourdough, I love sourdough in the morning. The, I've never tried this one, it was a substitute, but hopefully it's good. I am kind of picky about my sourdough. And then some buns for burgers, shredded cheese for tacos and different things. Some tortellini, because that was another request from Chase. The sour cream, I put sour cream in my mashed potatoes and then also like on top of tacos. I haven't tried this before, but the ingredients were so good. I really love seeing just like <laughs> simple, clean ingredients. I wish all of our food was like that, but it's not. Anyways, pasteurized. Hmm. I'm really excited to try this. I hope it's good. It is kind of expensive, but um, I've tried, I think, what is it? Cottage cheese from this brand, and it was really good. Um, spring mix for salads. And I think that's everything. I did forget sliced cheese for burgers, so I'll have to remember to get that, but that is our haul. Like I said, this will last us about a week and a half. Some things will last us like closer to two weeks, but obviously like eggs will probably go through within a week, milk closer to a week. But yeah, this is our first grocery haul in the new house. I also, I think I skipped this, but I also have two packs of chicken thighs because that's what Chase is going to prep for his lunches. So yeah, I also don't know if I've mentioned this, but we budget about $150 a week for groceries just because... Um, Chase tracks like his protein and all his macros and like he meal preps and all that So that's kind of like costly just making sure that he gets like quality protein in and then um, Yeah, like eating three meals a day Also, um, we obviously try to prioritize organic not even like necessarily organic just like clean ingredients like quality foods as much as possible That's like a huge priority for us. So yeah, I know that's like kind of a hefty budget for a lot of people especially like military families um, but that's just how we organize our budget. If you guys want me to do, I could do like a whole video on how we organize finances, how I meal plan, how I grocery shop and like plan out groceries and all, like all of that. Um, if you guys are interested, I feel like that could be a really good video, but yeah, our grocery budget is like at the top of our priorities. So we just make it work for us, but yeah. I thought that would be like good information to add in because I like grocery hauls to see what like everyone gets and for like, you know, how much they spend. Um, so I feel like it's important that I share like how much I spend, what we budget, all that. But yeah, like I said, this will last us about a week and a half. We're just at the point now where we're ready to get settled. You know, we have all of our furniture, we have all of our belongings here with us. We have food in the fridge now, so we just need to like start breaking open boxes and you know, putting things where they belong. So let me walk you guys through what we're working with and maybe we can, um, figure out together where everything's gonna go if you guys see any like 
If any ideas come your way where you're like, oh, she's doing this, but this could work better, let me know down in the comments because I'm sure I'm going to be rearranging things for like weeks to come. So let me know, but I'll show you guys what we have so far. Okay, so first off in here, that green box goes in the like um, shed outside. All of these boxes in here, like right here, are books for the bookshelf. So that's easy. Just I'll tackle that when I get to it. Um, and then over here, I want to start putting everything in there. Some of these are for the dining room and some of these are for this cabinet, but I can't fill it until we, hopefully tonight we can go to Lowe's because Chase needs, um, I don't know what he needs, something for this anchor because, um, it's so heavy. Also, wow, I really need to clean the glass. I had a plant up here and it, I think I, um, spilt water when I, removed it when we were moving <laughs> anyways um i can't fill it until it's anchored to the wall because if you open the doors it like falls on you so that's gonna be on hold but chase said we can hopefully go tonight while i'm unpacking everything he's gonna be doing like the garage outside yard stuff on top of like his normal marine corps work so he's basically tapped out for the day and then I told him I'll tackle the kitchen and then like work my way around. So anyways, the kitchen though, you guys, oh my goodness. So I'm thinking here I'm going to do like plates, bowls, glasses. I mean, just like, you know, dishes um, because it's right above the dishwasher. And I feel like that's going to be so convenient here. I'm thinking I'll store my Tupperware. I think that's like plenty of room and here we have like dog stuff <laughs> but i feel like the tupperware can go there here is the cabinet that we are using for our pantry um not a whole lot of room but honestly we don't ever like have a whole lot of food it's literally just the two of us so i mean this is gonna it's gonna be fine but obviously that takes out a whole cabinet for storing other things um, under here, I don't know what I'm going to put in these drawers. This is probably just going to end up being a, a junk drawer, to be honest. Um, I kind of want to avoid having a junk drawer, though. It might just be empty. But anyways, these two drawers are working drawers. I just don't know what's going to go in them. And these cabinets behind the boxes, I think I'm going to store, like, my Instant Pot, Crock Pot, um, Chase's Air Fryer, like, things like that that we use but we don't, like, grab every single day. I think we'll go in there and then over here I think in that cabinet and that cabinet I'm going to store like um, cooking pans pots things that I use like every night when I cook in here we're gonna do like spatulas extra utensils that kind of thing in here I always 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 love to have my spices and baking stuff um, directly to the like the right of the stove because I'm right-handed so that's like I already know I already know right um, up here honestly I hate putting things way up here because it's just like awkward maybe like foil <laughs> I don't know this might just be like nothing um, and then in here cuz I'm thinking my coffee station right here so then maybe like my coffee cups um, I'm storing the coffee. Obviously, I'll have like the Nespresso capsules. So yeah, I think this is just going to end up being a coffee nook. We have a lot of like tumblers, um, travel mugs, things like that. Up there, probably just random junk. Um, I'm thinking right here, I'll have my silverware. So yeah, that's basically what we're working with in the kitchen. But if you guys have any other like storage ideas, let me know. Let me know what works for you. Um, but I think I think that's the move. I think that's what's going to work out for us. I wish we had a pantry, but it's fine. Working with what we have. Okay, this box is labeled plates and bowls, so we'll start with this one. Also, I set aside scissors literally for this purpose, and I cannot remember where I put them. So I'm going to use Chase's plier things to <laughs> stab this box open. We'll see what's in it.
Okay, so good news is I've been figuring things out as I go. Originally, I didn't think all of the plates would fit stacked up like that, but they do. So that was awesome because then I could put the bowls right there, which they do fit kind of awkwardly, but it is what it is because I needed room for all of our glassware. Why do we need so many glasses? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I do. It's because I love hosting and glasses, like you need a specific glass for a specific drink. You know what I mean? Like this, the best sweet tea glass, right? Um, these, perfect for a glass of water, you know? These, perfect glass of orange juice. Like, <laughs> I love glasses and I love like being kind of particular about it. I know it's, it's too much. Like, I know it's a lot. Point is, I got it all to fit and it feels like really functional. Like, I was so worried that this, that this cabinet was just not going to make sense because I hated having the big plates, the small plates, the bowls. It just, I was like, I hate this. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just see if all the plates fit together. And they did. And that was such a relief. But you guys, I messed up terribly. I completely forgot to throw all these dishes into the dishwasher before putting them in the cupboards. I always do that because, I don't know, I just get kind of grossed out because obviously the movers have like handled them before they wrap them in um, packing paper. And I mean, they were clean before they got packed away, but it just gives me the eebie-jeebies. So, I don't know, I recommend washing your dishes before you unpack them or before you put them away, <laughs> but I forgot. And it's too late now, like there's no, I'm not taking this out, like it's there. <laughs> it's there for good and it just is what it is, but mm, it's gonna, it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, dang it. But I also uh, kind of figured this out. The problem is that I have more tea somewhere. I know that I do. So this is kind of going to be a work in progress because Chase also has like, I'm pretty sure like three coffee tumblers that need to go up here. Uh, but I think it'll work. Just nobody buy us coffee mugs. We don't need any coffee mugs. We don't need any Yetis, any nothing. No one buy us any cups, <laughs> mugs, tumblers. We're set. We have way too many. But it's coming along, breaking through boxes. This is all packing paper, <laughs> packing paper. We're moving and grooving. forgot that they packed a lot of our pantry stuff I mean not a lot but totally forgot that Chase had all of these tuna pouches um, totally forgot about these two bottles of barbecue sauce which funny story when they were packing up our pantry one of the packers was telling his coworkers how good this barbecue sauce was and then that started like a full-blown conversation about how good this barbecue sauce is which if you haven't tried it it is really really good um, we've only tried the original but I think you can get it anywhere. We got it at Publix, but yeah, it's really good. And I think the ingredients are fairly simple. Yeah, pretty good for a barbecue sauce because usually they're like loaded with a bunch of crap you don't need in it. So yeah, we love that barbecue sauce, but totally forgot we have this Dijon mustard, which I really only use for like certain recipes, but forgot I had it. Some like canned goods. So yeah, that was kind of like a nice surprise. Chase is also loaded up on oatmeal and rice because I bought these two the other day, forgetting that he had this fat bag of rice. So kind of a nice little surprise. <laughs> but um, we are slowly but surely running out of room in this <laughs> makeshift pantry. 
Okay, it's 1.43. Ignore the washer if you guys can hear it, but I've made some progress. I decided to put my Instant Pot and then I'll put the air fryer in here. My mixing bowls are back there. So I've changed things up a little bit from what I told you guys originally my plan was. In here will be like my baking sheets, things like that. Um, in here, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all of this out. Sorry guys, I've been texting my stepmom. But... Um, Move all that out. I think I'm gonna put like my oven mitts, kitchen towels in here. That way it's right next to the oven. And then in here, um, under the cupboard for our pantry, I have my cooking pans. Um, I'm gonna put my Dutch oven, my cast iron, and maybe the crock pot. Yeah, I'll put the crock pot in here, um, but I'm about to use that. And then. And then up here above the sink, I decided to put our blender for smoothies because Chase uses that like almost every day. And then I'll put his protein powder and supplements up here. I think he forgot that he actually had that. That was packed with our pantry stuff. And he was talking the other day about how he's out. So he might be happy to have that. I think his friend gave him that. So he probably forgot that he even has it. I love when that happens, when you just like randomly get stuff or randomly find stuff, you know? It's like Christmas, but... I think I'm going to end up moving the dog's treats into maybe like the laundry room or something because their dog food is stored in the laundry room anyway. And then maybe put Tupperware here. We'll see. I very clearly changed my mind as I'm unpacking, but this has stayed the same. So I think that's pretty final. I just threw some dinner in the crock pot. I found this recipe on Pinterest for... Um, chicken tacos and so i thought that'd be so easy for dinner tonight while i'm unpacking all of our kitchen stuff it's literally just chicken breast taco seasoning i did the spicy just to give it a little bit of extra kick and then a salsa of your choosing i just did this um focus well my camera doesn't want to focus but it's just a thick and chunky medium salsa I didn't want to like double up on the spicy just in case it was too much. And then the recipe does call for salt and pepper just to taste, but obviously all my stuff is like packed up. So I'm just going to work with what I have, but you literally just throw in your salsa with your seasoning, stir it all together, and then nuzzle your chicken breast in it. And then you're going to cook it on either high for two hours or low for four hours. And then once it's done, you'll just shred it up and mix it around and then you're good to go. Um, so I don't know. I thought this would at least be something easy. Hopefully it turns out good. I feel like, I mean, it has taco seasoning and salsa. Like, I feel like it'll be fine. Um, but I was telling Chase about this recipe and how simple it was. And I think he was a little bit skeptical because it's literally so simple. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is. I was going to say I'll link the recipe, but I mean, you literally don't need a recipe. Like, this is it. This is the recipe. So it's, yeah, stupid simple. So hopefully it's good. I'm really hungry for tacos. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to garnish it with like a red onion. Um, we have some hot sauce, sour cream, cheese. Like I feel like it can't be bad. So I'm going to get this started. And like I said, I'll tell you guys how it is. Um, let's see what time is it. It's about 2 o'clock. I'm going to do on low for 4 hours. And I'll let you guys know how it is. So I hope this salsa is good. I am kind of picky about salsa. So I hope it's good. But we'll see. Okay, so this is what I saw online. I mean, it's got three, which I think is what you needed, but it looks like there's these two different options. Uh, what's the difference? Just the size? Just the size and the shape, or if you want Big Bertha. No, I only need like, I don't know. Pick which one. <laughs> well, it's kind of just an aesthetic. Well, I have, to plug in, I have to plug in three things. So like, what's the back of it? The back doesn't matter. It's just an aesthetic thing. So if it's if you want kind of like a more rectangle, or if you want this, because functionally they're the, they're identical. Oh, I don't care. Are they the same price? I don't even know. Because I don't see. I guess it's the yeah. It look well. It looks like this one's like. This one's Get the like, bigger one. It looks more heavy duty. This one? Yeah, let me show my friends. So because I have an espresso machine and the coffee pot, um, the outlet where it's by is only like a two outlet thingy. So chasing has to get, what is it called? An, an outlet just, splitter. Well, it, yeah, or adapter. <laughs> I guess oh. it's technically You just like plug it in and then you plug in your stuff. 
you guys hear those planes? It's so that is one thing about Virginia Beach so far is it is so loud. Oh my goodness, living on Quantico, I think I just got like I don't know, I got spoiled in a lot of different ways. But one thing was all the only noise that we really had there was like artillery from the range. But here there are planes constantly flying and it's it's so loud. I feel like I'm already getting used to it, but like the first week we were here, we were like, oh my goodness, it's so loud. And they fly so low, which is kind of neat because like you get to see them like, I don't know, you feel like you're looking at them like up close. But anyways, we made a pit stop. Um, we're at Kroger on our way home because I forgot to get Chase his bananas when I did my grocery shopping last night. And he loves, he loves bananas. Pro I think it's mostly just because it's a really easy like snack and stuff and you can do so many things with bananas. But he always requests them, and I always feel bad when I forget them, which I rarely do. It's like a like a sin to forget his bananas. But um, he's also going to grab some, like, bagels and cream cheese, because I thought that sounded so good. I'm so excited to have, like, a toaster and, like, be able to toast my sourdough and have a bagel. Ugh, I'm so excited to have, like, a full kitchen again. And I'm so excited to um, be unpacking the kitchen it's been a lot you guys i am like so tired i feel like ever since we left quantico i've just been like running on fumes just because i'm like constantly thinking about what needs done with the house and what i want to do first and how i want to arrange things and organize things um but yeah it's gonna feel so good to get everything unpacked and just finally feel settled because i don't know i was telling chase that i just kind of feel like i'm like living in a random house right now like I see my stuff and I know like our house feels cozy and it's cute and like I love it here so it's not like I don't like it here it's just I feel so unsettled and I can't really shake it I think it's just because um like like this is really the first move that we've had where like we're overwhelmed by boxes because really we didn't really furnish like truly furnish a house until our house in Quantico so like this is the first time that I'm actually like actively having to unpack in order to just like live my everyday life and go about my normal routines and so I think that has a lot to do with it but um yeah I can't wait to just get the kitchen unpacked and then slowly start moving throughout the house and getting things done I think when we get home I'm just gonna put the camera up and then just like power through the kitchen that way it can be done tonight um because I want I do want to spend some like good time with Chase before we go to the gym um, just because usually after that I'm like gassed, like I'm just ready to go to bed. So, yeah, I think when we get home I'm going to put the camera up, just power through things. And then tomorrow maybe pick up the camera again and update you guys. And probably tomorrow I'll get around to doing the library area, like the bookshelves. And then we're just going to work our way throughout the house um, as the days go on. The best part about being a wife is never having to fill my own gas tank. 